Hello YouTube! We're back for everybody's favorite video. So, I got another junk kind of lot on eBay. The seller had quite a few auctions. I bought three lots. Total was a hair over $300 Canadian. About 200 US. If you like the comment, please like, comment, subscribe. Help the channel grow huge. So without further ado, let's get into it. So... I will say, I'm a little question how they um, packaged this. Um, I almost, yeah, because that's real easy to get in. It just kind of comes out, okay. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, there's something in the paper. I don't know how we're going to do this. Okay, I think these were part of a lot. Let me take these so out. So we took them out. First one, is this what I think this is? Is this a tutor? I can't. Yeah, it's like it's stuck. Oh, oh, there we go. Tutor, okay. That's by Rolex. Does it, does it wind? Fully wound. 10k gold filled missing the glass I mean even for parts it's gonna be worth a little bit of money take the tool and see what we're dealing with here take that out quick and let's see um okay tutor gold filled yeah, looks like a little bit of water damage okay so yeah that's probably just gonna be a parts watch at this point unfortunately but still that's worth a little bit of money next up we have a left is that a um Lady Elgin. Yeah, I can hear it run. Um, condition, use a little polish on the glass. A little bit of pitting, not bad. Next up, we have a... I can even read that. That is a Medco. And it works, but again, condition's a little bit bad. Put that to the side. Let's see, how did they do this with paper? Okay, so this is the next lot. So they're in baggies. I had to open them. So I will open them before um, we take a look, just so you guys don't have to hear all that. Sorry, it is pouring rain here, so I don't know if you can hear that or not. First up, we have a beautiful bull of a quartz. Uh, P.O., so 1980. The strap, everything looks... Good. Good test. Make sure the hands move. That's a good way to test. But just a beautiful, beautiful watch. Put that to the side. And at the end, we'll come back, test some of the good ones. This is kind of a no-name Japan watch. I saw this one. It says Omega. Is that... It runs... So we'll look at that Omega in a second, but I wanted to show you guys something cool. It's the Apexel 120 observation lens, which goes on your phone. They sent me this for free and asked if I'd show it. And there are links in the description. So it goes on your phone, got a charger. You can even um, use this and use it as an eyepiece. And here we have the um, light as well. So here it is on a phone. You can see, you can move it around, adjust it. Then for the light, just press and hold. Lights on. A little bit hard to tell with all my light. Then you have modes, so you can, like that, turn it off. Now, let's use it and look up that Omega. So now we are shooting in 4K. So I put it, it seems to be to the bottom camera to my um, iPhone Pro 14. Pro Max. So as you can see, we're like right in there. So um, this watch is in mint condition. Let's see if we get closer. It says about 10 millimeters away, so about one centimeter, so we're a little bit far away. A little bit closer. And you can see even the detail of the strap. That's what we're dealing with here. You can see this watch is in great, great shape. Here's the case gold filled you have full serial number that's neat 
So for working on watches, getting close, this is good. So the Apexel MS120 did a great job. Slid on my phone, used it, took me a couple seconds on and off. Saves the need for the big bulky um, like microscope. Now they gave this to me for free. They said say whatever you want about it. And um, the link's in the description. They even gave me a discount code for you guys. 15% off vintage sterling finds. They're not paying me. Just I thought I'd let you guys show you this. And um, the big thank you for Apexel for setting this also, out. Also, if you guys have any ideas for that, let me know. This is a bear. Zoom in. Bearing? Okay. Put that to the side. Might come in useful later. Caprice Quartz, little lady's watch. For that Omega, I think I'll have a plastic fort probably. This is a nice little lady's cardinal. Next bag. Now this one, Movado ladies tank watch. Yeah, her strap too, but the straps had it. Um, this guy, though, you can see the glass has absolutely had it. So I'm going to look online, see if I can find a glass. But I think that's going to be tough. Yeah, you can see there's dust in there. So this might be a little bit tough just because of the, I don't know where I can find that glass. So maybe I'll try to fix it, sell it as parts. But definitely worth a little bit of money. We have a... Shivaz ring, kind of cool. Gucci, and again, um, this one's missing the um other thing. I have a screw. I'm just missing this. So I'll see if I can track that down. I'll see if this works. Then if I can track this down, I'd be laughing because this would be worth a couple hundred dollars. See, I don't mind putting money and work into good watches. Just change the battery, make sure it works. Okay, Burks. Like the Canadian's Tiffany. Clean watch. What's that say on the back? MDS. I think that was a technology company. I've seen their stuff before. This is mint, probably never worn. One of my favorite things to do is I find Canadian brands with Canadian companies and look up the companies. Next bags. Next up. Oh, that's nice. Pulsar by Seiko. Beautiful clean watch. Big strap, which helps. This is a Rodinia. Again, nice watch, but just... Okay, I thought I saw it running. The condition's kind of bad. The glass is all scratched up. Kind of hard to buff out. Another Rodania. Oh, that's nice. Swiss made sapphire. That's beautiful. Screw down. You have to actually unscrew it. Wow, that's a fairly valuable watch. Give me a tick when I start it. Okay. Next bag. Rotary. Yep, runs. Does it have a second hand or how does that? Oh, just hour a minute. Okay. Kind of a cool ladies watch. Probably wash that a little bit. Beautiful little watch. This is a Mortima. Kind of that old TV rectangle style. It runs good. Next up, we have a Packard. Does not run. Packard, 17 jewels. Fortunately, does not run. That'll have to probably be a parts. These are kind of cool. I think these are old. Oh, Waltham. No way. <laughs> Still ticks. So that's good. So whatever movement this has, I can actually sell it as working. Open that up quick. Empress Canada. 
What does that say? It is a... It doesn't say, so I'd have to run up the uh, serial number. That's probably going to be over 100 years old, if I take a guess. Next one, no name. Then I know to set this, you have to push this. Does this even work? And turn. Let's see if I can turn those numbers. You just have to press that in with like a finger. Yeah. So yeah, we can... Still works. Yeah, it gave me like a tick and stop, tick and stop. Uh, let's see. So unfortunately, I think this is like a screw thing, and I just I can't even get this to move. So that's gonna have to wait for another day. Last one is a no name. Yeah, I think the mainspring shot. Let's just see just what kind of watch this is. Let's see, let's see, let's see. You never know, it could get lucky. It's be like an Omega or something. Okay, it's a Montrose, kind of cool. Neat little ladies watch. Opened up the next two bags. Here we have a Seiko Ladies Super Quartz. Move that out of the other, that's better. Um, beautiful little watch, good condition. Everything's there. That's definitely going to be in the best finds at the end of the video. Here we have another beautiful Seiko ladies watch. Again, you see a little bit of corrosion there, but I usually use silver wipes. And those come off great. That's a quartz. Tank kind of style watch, square, beautiful shape. On Etsy, you know, I usually sell these for quite a bit. So that's a great find. This one, I've actually sold it about four times. The Seiko Quartz. What is that? That's a uh, 1400. Again, bracelets. Maybe I'll keep the bracelet. Maybe not. Um, but watch is in great shape. So that's definitely a good find. The last one I sold of these alone, working with $300. So that's definitely, definitely, definitely good fun. This one has a couple scratches, but yeah, I'll probably put it at that $2.99 mark on Etsy. So hopefully that should pay for most of this, if it works. Next up, we have this beautiful Seiko. Ooh, Mother of Pearl, but it's missing the glass. Not in bad shape. How does this... Never seen this style strap before. Is this oh I see it's like this like this like that oh then turn it okay kind of secure kind of cool so hopefully I should have the glass for this because that's just a beautiful little watch we have a Timex alarm sorry Timex quartz these the um hands in the second are electronic some I've sold a couple of these, somewhat desirable. Good watch. This is an Orlean Quartz. Yeah, something like that I wouldn't be super, super interested in. Look at that Citizen Quartz. I like that good shape. Gold tone. I like that dial, how it's like pink, white kind of fades, kind of multicolor. That's really neat. Let's move on to the next one. This one's kind of a no-name. Yeah, cracked crystal, missing stones. Not a lot I can do with that. I'm going to say Aaron. Artron. Yeah, again, Japanese made. Maybe a couple dollar watch. Nothing spectacular. Here we have a Seiko Quartz. I think the straps, yeah, straps broken, but I mean, it looks like it's a six millimeter. So I know I have extra straps. Watch itself is quite clean, which is good. So yeah, I definitely changed the strap. Next up, we have a, okay, Bulova Accutron. I always like these. Adjustable strap, good shape. Gold filled. N4, 1974. Good shape. 
These can be a little finicky sometimes. But yeah, hands move. Change. I'll put this in the good pile. Then hopefully when we come back, we'll see it working. Look at this one. Beautiful Bulova tank watch. It's the P1 1981. Adjustable strap. Okay, yeah, then that goes like that and it closes. Oh, yeah, that's tight. That catches it. But look at the size, though, compared to my thumb. That's tiny. Definitely, definitely, definitely going to test that one. I'll put that in the good pile. So after this, we have one more bag. This is an Eternomatic Burks. Just beautiful. Does it work? Crown's like recessed. Can we wind it? I mean, let's just give it a shake. Okay, yeah, it's running. Okay, that should be good. Just a beautiful, beautiful watch. We have a Seiko. Everybody knows I love these. Sell them on Etsy. Just a beautiful little watch. Good shape. Just a little bit of a cleaning. I think that's all it need. Yeah, and I can hear it ticking away, so that's good. Next up, we have a Seiko. That would be a Quartz. Day date, blue face, just beautiful condition. Definite, definite happy to get these. I love selling ladies' watches. I sell tons of them on Etsy. So when I get ladies' watches, I'm not the least bit upset. Another, what's that say? Belmore, 17 jewels. Yep, runs. I have a time grapher, so I'll put it to the actual time grapher to make sure it runs well. These two are kind of tangled up. So this one first. Does it run? Yeah, it runs. Well, let me open the back. Let's see what it is. So it's actually an Invicta. Gold filled case. I was hoping for solid gold. It actually runs quite well. So that's a good surprise. If you guys can see, it says Invicta right there. Then focus. So yeah, that's a nice little watch. Next, we have a Wittenauer. Does it work? Perfect. Runs great. Polish that plastic a little bit. Perfect. This is a Balmont. Let me just read that. That is a Daymant. Daymant Bleu. It's so maybe a French watch. I don't know. Okay. We have one more package left. So, this one, we have a Louise Ardan cracked cuff. Not super interesting. We have a bearing. But this is the watch where the back was somewhere. Yeah, here's the back. So they sent me the back separately for some reason. Maybe it popped off. I don't know. Let's see. What's the movement? Okay, Seiko movement. So maybe it's a couple bucks. Sapphire. They said Sapphire. Okay. couple dollar watch. Last bag. So let's do maybe... That one's stuck. Let's do this one first. This is a cracked, fully wound. What's the name on that? I can't even read the name. So we have the watch out. It says SW and Co. But now this saying Liberty 18K. So I don't know if that's gold or not. Let me get my acid. So unfortunately, I need new acid. I have 10k. My other acid's a little old, and I think it went bad. So let's just um, I'll pick this up. I'll do it where it's not super noticeable, like that. Do a nice little. Okay. 
can't even see that. Um, let me do. So we're back. Let's just see what happens. Okay, that passed. Let's get some 22 carat. Because if 22 carat doesn't evaporate it, then we know we're dealing with um, stainless. So we're back. We got 22k acid. If this evaporates this like nothing, then we know it's gold. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, yeah, it evaporates. Yeah, it's evaporating it. Yeah, there's nothing left. Yeah, so now we know that's gold. So that's what we wanted to see. It, it evaporate because stainless, it won't touch. Zero this out. 4.5 grams. So let's say three and a half grams. I think I'm being generous with that glass. Um, 70 bucks a gram, 210. So about 240 worth of gold roughly. So that's good. That's a good find. That pretty much pays for the most of this. Now we do have three watches left. We have this one. That is a reveal. You can see, yeah, it's kind of, you can see the plating. It doesn't seem to run. Put that to the side. Second to last, we have a, let's see, Akprek 15 rubles. Let's turn it. I think the mainspring shot, because I can just kind of wind it and nothing's happening. Yeah, I'll say that's a project watch. Last one is a, say Elgin. Elgin, yeah. Let's see, does it wind? Does it seem to want to wind? Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see the second hand's moving. Let's open this up, see what it's made out of. Yeah, look at that, going absolutely beautifully. 10K gold filled. The movement's in great shape and it runs great, just needs a little bit of work there. But it winds, it works. Now, let's fix some of the good watches and see so if they good work. good news, the ones that don't work, this Citizen, this Bull of Accutron, don't work. The Rodania. I don't have the right battery, but it's ticked a couple times, so I think it does work, just needs the battery, which unfortunately I don't have. But Seiko Super Quartz works. Burks works. Seiko Tank runs great. This Seiko works great. This Seiko works great. And this Bulova works great. So, this tells me most of these are going to work. Accutrons, I don't have much success with. And I looked at a couple of those mechanical ones, like this Wittenauer, and it kept it ran within like 10 seconds a day. So, the quality here looks pretty good. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for Appixel for sending me that cool toy. And see you on the next one.